What's up everybody? Today we're going to check out Cycle Create, which is a new deal we have. It's only 20 bucks right now. Um, when you buy it, you also get $20 in your rewards wallet and a $20 voucher for the Sample Fuel website. So you get uh, the money back doubled. Um, so to spend in the shop and also at Sample Fuel. So uh, let's check it out. It runs in the free uh, Hallion uh, Steinberg um, sampler. So you won't need any other sampler. This downloads as a free uh, product, and it's right here. Um, this is what it looks like. So let's kind of go through some of the sounds available in Cycle Create. It's a cycle-based sampler, um, a sample engine, essentially. Um, so you have four different sound sources, and it cycles through what is going to be... It's going to sound like a pulse. So it, it goes like this. So at its core, there are these four different sound sources that you can cycle through. And as it cycles through them, it's going to give it that kind of choppy, pulsating sound. Now, there's some controls down here. The biggest two um, to really get that motion and rhythmic action in the sound is the cycle and then the motion sound. So let's kind of experiment with those two and you'll hear how we can go from like a long sustained pad to a more rhythmic sound just by messing with the cycle and motion controls down there. So you can hear there, it's, you know, getting a different kind of movement as I'm going through, um, you know, the different kind of shapes from ramp, pulse, sign, and saw wave, and then the amount and cycle rate. Um, so again, even if you don't do any of that motion there, the cycle engine is where this thing is going to get that kind of pulsating sound. So you can see we have these four different sound sources. You can load up a whole preset or you can select different sound sources um, and, and kind of customize the preset. As you can see, we have a bunch of different sound sources here. Uh, you can solo it just like that. Click that and then hear what you know each of these sound like. So essentially that's what the basis of the sound is going to come from, from that cycle engine here. And then of course you can add some extra motion on top. Um, it's great for, you know, kind of adding a bouncer rhythm to some beats or, you know, underscore and pads and stuff like that. You can get something uh, kind of creative like this. So you can hear it really has that, you know, the motion kind of what sets that apart from just, you know, a, a ordinary kind of boring sustain pad. Let's check out the presets that I used. We already kind of looked at the first one there. You can go in and change the different sound sources. There's a, you know, a ton of different ones. So if you load up a preset and you want to kind of change part of it or, you know, just go in and swap out all four of those sound sources, it's as easy as just clicking this. Um, which, which, you, which you would go into the edit page right there. So let's check out the other presets here.
Now this last one, I used it more of an arpeggio um, instead of, you know, just holding down a chord or something like that. So what I did for that was just use it more as a kind of uh, synth pluck type sound. It sounds like this. <laughs> 